guys have uh, some pretty neat non-conference games and scrimmages in Merrill and talk about the goal of a coach in scheduling to get ready for a conference season. Yeah, I think uh, I think scheduling, uh, you got to know your group, where your group is at, all right? I'm, I'm pretty, uh, I know where our group is at. I think, I think we're a very fast, quick, technical team uh, that plays really quick, uh, but we're young. So I think in, you know, in, in scrimmaging, uh, Maryland, you know, Lafayette and Marist, three scrimmages in, in 14 days is, is just, we need to play together. We need to be together uh, on the field and, and, and being, you know, playing a top, you know, the top, one of the top teams in the country like Maryland, I think will, will give us a great gauge uh, uh, to, to, for the players to know where they are. Because I know where we are, but they need to know. And sometimes, you know, players are, they think, you know, and they don't really listen to the coach, but I think that game will really help us. Well, I think we have a really special group. Um, I feel like we, as my class, the junior class, has two years of seniority. We have one, two seniors this year, and um, I think we really have a good chance at the ASUN this year. And I don't want to look past this year, but I feel like we have two years to really do something great with this team. And I think the team is really excited this year, and I think we have a good chance at the ASUN. Really excited to be back. I've been looking forward to this for since I've been injured, so a year and a half almost now, and just can't wait to. Uh, it's a great way to start the season, and can't wait to keep it going. How about the Atlantic Sun and being in that conference and what you've learned now that you could take moving forward into lessons for the guys who come conference play? Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> I think the A Sun is, is like I said, I think is a great mid-major conference. I enjoy it uh, tremendously. The facilities are f phenomenal. The fields are phenomenal. Um, I think the, the level of play is quite good. Um, I think things that we we uh, we look we look forward to, to making sure that our preparation is right leading up to every game. If we eat right, we travel well. Whether it's you know it's on a plane, which is most of the time on a plane, we're hydrated. Um, you know that we we rest in the hotel prior. Uh, you know um, intelligently, not you know moving around too much. And then, and then, you know, I think the key is, is to be hydrated, right? Because we're playing Florida teams, and the weather could could change on you. You know, one day, you know, you know, the report says, you know, 72 degrees. You show up, it's 88, and you know, 100% humidity, and we're like, oh boy, <laughs> we're coming from the Northeast. So those are the things that we've learned over the two years. I think we've handled it quite well, and, and we'll continue to learn. But uh, I think, you know, I think we got a good grip on it. The system that Barbodo has set up on this team is that we play almost the same way on offense every game and we uh, he will really analyze the other team and set us up and we'll play a little bit different system on defense every every game and just to lock down the other team and that's uh, that's seemed to work for us so far and hopefully we'll keep, we'll keep this up well he loves his way to play and he knows exactly how what he wants to do and knows how to enforce it Every day at training, we do the same thing over and over. He likes to get it to us. He drills it into our head. And then when we're in the field, it's like you're not even thinking about it, but you're just doing it. So it's like that's how you know like he's getting to us. And I like it. What's it going to take to exceed an eight-win season with a third-place finish in the ASUN? You know, I think I think it, it all, what we've kind of spoke about in terms of replacing Mo holds true. I think to you know the last two seasons, I think we need to be more collective. I think we need to to have more players included in our attack. Um, we need to spread those statistics across the roster, whether it be goals, assists, shots. I think I think that's key. I think the second part is, and we this is something we spoke as a staff is defending. All right, I think we need to defend better um, in the A-Sun games. I think we need to be able to grind out a one nothing, get a shutout um, better than we've done in the past. Uh, I think especially in, in playoff, um, you know, in the, in the last two quarterfinal games, there have been, you know, uh, we've given up two goals uh, in 2017 against North, uh, against North Florida. And then, uh, and then this year we, we gave up three against Lipscomb. Now we came back 3-3, and that's great. And I think we will have the we have that power in our attack to score goals and come back. But I think defending uh, and, and, and fighting for a shutout, I think, is, is something we need to really improve on. Uh, what are the goals that you set for yourself as you move forward now into a second full season of play? 
I set mostly, more importantly, I want, I set goals for the team. Like I want to win the ASUN conference. That's my number one priority. Um, personally, I want to score like twice as many goals as I scored freshman year. I'm hoping for around 12 goals this season. And um, yeah, but more importantly is ASUN. Is this the most exciting time for a head coach knowing that you're about to ramp it up for another brand new season? Yeah, this is the most exciting time for sure. You know, you're just so excited for that first training session, seeing your recruiting class, right? And see what kind of form the guys, the returning players, you know, are coming in. Um, it's exciting. I, I can't say enough about, I think, I think any head coach who, you know, is excited about seeing those players, those players that he recruited, that they recruited, that the staff recruited for so, for so long, to finally see them on the field in an NGIT uniform is, it's priceless. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.